Hey, what's up guys? It's Andrew from Southmodder, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Galaxy S5's download booster and TouchWiz launcher on your HTC One. Now this is compatible with both the M7 and M8, so you don't have to worry about that issue, but you will have to have a rooted phone with an unlocked bootloader and custom recovery. So check out those guys if you haven't done that already. Alright, so we're not downloading the official download booster from Samsung, we're going to be downloading an app called Super Download and that pretty much does the same exact thing which is activating your mobile and Wi-Fi data at the same time when downloading files. So that only applies to downloading files, it won't apply to streaming videos or anything like that. There are two links linked in the tutorial. The first one is the free full APK that the developer provided on XCA and the other is the paid version and you can download that through Google Play. If you decided to download through the um, XDA link, go ahead and open up any kind of file explorer or just open up the APK once you finish it downloading and install it. So you go to your downloads, hit super download and hit install. And after finishing installing, just hit done and then that's pretty much all set. You don't have to restart your phone or anything. So now when you open up super download, this is the only screen you'll get. Um, by default, it will activate right when you download any file from a browser like Chrome or Dolphin or the regular AOSP browser. But um, if you want to add one manually, you go ahead and hit the plus button up top. Or if you're in an app, if you click the share button on a download link, you can always just open it up with Super Download and it'll activate it that way. You may uh, have to grant your phone root permission. Um, the AE varies on phone to phone if it asks for that. So be on the lookout for that and have a super user app enabled on your device. And then now to get the launcher and the AccuWeather widget from Samsung, those links to that are going to be in the tutorial as well. Just make sure to pick uh, what version of the launcher you want. The version 1 has the apps and widget tabs in the launcher and the version 2 does not. So that's the only really main difference between the two. And then the only one version of the weather widget and so go ahead and download those two zips and then reboot your phone into recovery mode and we'll get started from there. Alright, now that you're in TWRP, you're going to want to go ahead and hit the install option and then select the uh, S5 launcher first. Go ahead and confirm the flash and then hit the home button so do not restore your phone yet. Go ahead and hit install one more time and install the weather widget. Confirm the flash one more time. Then wipe the cache and dalvik, swipe to wipe, hit back, and then reboot your system. Alright, so when you restart your phone, you should get a prompt asking you which launcher you want to use by default. But you can also switch that up from your settings menu. So if you ever want to go back, just open up your settings, go down to personalize, hit home screen, and then hit the touch with home as your default. Now this one isn't as customizable as the LG Home Launcher. You pretty much get the basic stuff like your home screens. You could also pinch to edit all the home screens as well. Um, the app drawer is pretty simple. You have the app and widgets um, sections and you also have more options to categorize apps on the drop down menu. Um, you can't change the icons like in the LG Home. But you do also get the weather widget from AccuWeather. Um, this one is the Samsung exclusive version as well. Other than that, that pretty much covers it. Uh, be sure to check out the full tutorial linked in the description. And like always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good one, guys.